cannot follow that. <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> but if you listen to Fortune College Sports on sportsnetusa.net, you can hear Mark and Corey broadcasting sports for Fullerton College and listen to that type of humor as much as you want. <laughs> okay, um, we're up here to present the Legacy Award. Um, the Legacy Award is presented to an alumni that not only has excelled in their career, but has also given back to the cinema television program at Fullerton College. I'm going to have Brian Brooks come forward. Brian! Um, to a number of our uh, back, um, other faculty members, um, Ryan's name for this award. Everyone went, yeah! <laughs> that uh, I taught him, which is a kind of an ESPN uh, sports on location live class on steroids. <laughs> so students get the real world screaming, yelling, cussing experience of what it's like to produce real sports. Only a taste But uh, uh, Brian's legacy, actually it's probably my legacy with Brian, probably stands out more in that uh, I taught the class for eight years, and then Brian has taken over uh, and has been teaching it for at least as many years, and taking it to new heights, new levels, new technology, uh, much more professional. But um, one thing that I can mention that Brian always mentions to me, but more importantly, he mentions to all his uh, communications uh, production classes. And that is the time that uh, he missed the uh, Dodgers World Series game because of uh, me. <laughs> and uh, actually it was uh, a choice that he had to make uh, at the time. He had tickets to go see uh, the Dodgers playing the uh, Oakland A's. Really? <laughs> game one of the World Series, it would be the most, one of the top five sporting moments in history when Kirk Gibson hit his grand slam home run, wow. bottom of the ninth, two outs, uh, with a broken ankle. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a choice to go to the game, and I told him, well, you go to the game or, you know, uh, the industry sometimes calls upon you to make sacrifices. You're a big boy, so you can make sacrifices. He made the sacrifice, he gave him go to the game, and standing in front of you with a ten dollar plaque. <laughs> no, but he's an exceptional exceptional uh, exceptional uh, professor. All the students really love him. Uh, he puts in many more hours to produce uh, a six to ten hour ball game than you would ever uh, think it is to, to produce something live on tape that's streamed uh, over the internet. So uh, Brian, congratulations here. You definitely deserve it. Getting this award um, is in and of itself an honor, but getting it from two of your mentors is really a big deal to me. So thank you both very much. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank my family who's here tonight. Thank you for all your support and encouragement and uh, love and patience. Um, I'm not exactly, uh, uh, I'm kind of stingy with the DVR, where most people will rewind the DVR to see what they missed in the plot. I rewind it to show them really cool rack focus or something like that and, uh, over and over and then I explain why that's important and how that actually that effect actually works and then I break down the lens and things like that so we're very patient thank you very much and I especially like to thank my wife who uh, basically got me through the rest of my schooling after I left here we went to Chapman University together and um, I finished my degree there um, uh, so thank you very much I don't think I'd be here without you but, um, I really appreciate 
Fullerton College communications and the collaborative nature of this specific department. Um, I do teach the advanced production class, and I've been teaching for several years, and I get, to, I get the privilege of working with other departments like radio and sports broadcasting. And it occurred to me tonight that there's a few people in here that uh, don't always get the recognition. Uh, we operate on Sportsnet USA, which is Ed Ford's network. So we're, we appreciate the fact that we can broadcast out to you and have that opportunity to provide for students. And then I get the privilege of working with two of the greatest sports announcers in the business, Mark and Corey. Wave, Mark and Corey. Oh, you guys already seen them. All right, yeah. Um, they are looking. There's nothing more rewarding as a director than to be able to, um, uh, there's a discrepancy on the field. The guys up in the booth don't exactly agree with the referees on the field. And um, there's nothing more rewarding than for my replay operator to lean over and say, I got it on blue, and I say, low replay blue, and 10 out of 10 times, these guys are on the money accurate. So they always uh, uh, overturn, well, they don't overturn because we don't have that kind of thing, but they are great at what they do. So it's a real privilege to work with them, as well as uh, Ryan in the back, really nice job, and really enjoyed working with you. And um, uh, also, half the people in this room, um, he's not here tonight, but I'd really like to recognize Colin Melia who um, is our engineer for TV film, uh, who allows us to be creative, uh, to go in because all of the technical stuff is working. And you should see him on a shoot day. Soup to nuts, camera to encoder to switcher and everything. He is, he is, I don't know what we do about him, so thank you very much. I'd also like to say one last thing. Fullerton, uh, Fullerton College has a great reputation. Communi communications department has a great reputation. And just hearing some of the stories tonight uh, of all of your successes and your work ethic, I know that's going to continue on. I'm very proud of all of you, and I hope you go on and make all of us proud. Thanks very much for that. Time to present uh, 